Mile 25. 25. Dude, I can't believe you just kept going. <laughs> I'm about to fall apart, man. We got one more mile. Well, 1.2. 25. This is your first marathon yeah. that you really didn't even train for. Yeah. Look what you've accomplished in six months. Five months ago, 400 and what? 442? Yes, sir. That first mile of the very first day of our time on the ranch was going to be our last mile today. It was kind of extra motivation to me to make sure that I was running that last mile. We all get second chance at times, but this is the one that you got to grab. This is a second chance that without, I, I'm, I'm not going to have any more chances. This is it for me. I can't take being who I am anymore. I have to take this weight off, and I have to keep it off at all costs. Dude, unbelievable. Finish line, look. Holy crap. There's the finish line. <laughs> that freaking time. Yeah, who puts the finish line 26.2 miles away from the starting line? Marathon runner right here. Thank you. Marathon runner right here. But they've done, oh, it's, woo! Come on, Rudy! You're a marathon runner, buddy. Woo! Nice job, Rudy. Jogging all the way to the finish line. Take it. Yeah! Rudy, you've been given a second chance at life. Look at yourself. Look at, look at what you've been able to do to yourself in such a short period of time. And don't ever forget that you couldn't do that six months ago. And hold on to that and, and don't ever let it go. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so Congratulations. Much. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Good, Good job. job. Good job. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For the world to see. Oh, yeah. For the world to see. I can't do that without clapping. I'll try. But... I was having a run with Rudy. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, my God! Look, finish line right there. Right there. This is it. <laughs> Running a mile 25 was like deja vu. I have been here before. This is the first mile on the first day. And it brings back all these memories of the struggles, the pain, the doubt I had in myself. And the fear, running that first mile was the scariest moment of my life. And all of a sudden, I'm running it after running 25. This is my time for change. I am ready to do this. You know, my dream is right in front of me, and I just need to grab it. I need to fight for it, and I'm willing to do it. Woo! You got it. It's all yours. Oh, 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 good. Oh, Dig. Oh, America's oh, choice. Oh, <laughs> Remember what it was like to be this unhappy. You don't ever want to get back like this ever again. You need to maintain this healthy lifestyle that you have now and don't ever let yourself get back to being a prisoner in your own body. Cut loose from that ball and chain. You know, go live your life. Don't let anything hold you back. Good job. Good job. Five hours, 28 minutes, and 27 seconds. The power of pain. The power right? of pain. For sure, girl. Yeah. Woo! Don't you pick his power for sure. Oh my god, that's the answer. And by the way, we have two more people to cheer on. They're coming I soon. Can't wait. So let's get you guys taken care of. We're at mile 16, and Danny looks over at me, and he says, Liz, I've hit my wall. Danny was struggling a little bit, and I'm very worried. Are you OK? Oh, my god. This is that wall everyone's been talking about, and I'm hitting it before any of them said they were hit it. I'm done. Better walk. Oh. Walk? 
Yeah, I gotta walk. I'm actually thinking, am I gonna finish this? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm scared and I don't think I can finish. Uh, uh. Oh my God. I don't know if I should quit. We hit the hydration station, and my knee is screaming right now. And Liz has problems with her knees. Oh, let's get some ice on our knees so we can get going again. We've got a long way to go. Oh. Uh. I decided, you know what? Through the pain and through the sweat, I'm not going to stop. Because you know what? What you get from stopping is you get 430 pounds. You ready, Liz? Yeah. And you know what? I don't have that now. I have a second chance, and I'm going to run this marathon, and I'm going to finish this marathon, and I'm not going to let my legs tell me to stop or my mind tell me to stop. My heart's going to tell myself to keep going. Well, let's jog. We're jogging? A little bit, yeah. We have to slow our pace. That's what we'll do, but we're going to just push through it. You're going to make it. We, gotta we got this. Seriously. We got to push through it. We're not that far away. <laughs> we got it. All this time through the season, I've been the one encouraging Liz and telling her she can. Awesome. Wait. I feel like I could slide out. Wait. You're going to do good, Liz. But you're going to be on the other side, and you're going to conquer it. I promise you. <laughs> and now she's returned the favor. She's encouraging me. You got it, Danny. Come on, baby. It was destiny for Liz and I to go through this whole show together. And I think it's our destiny to go through this marathon together. <sighs> I'm good. I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna let my body tell my mind what to do anymore. I'm, I'm gonna finish this thing. I'm gonna finish it strong. The day you picked me as your partner was the day that we were gonna stay together till the end of this. That's right. And we have every day. I chose Danny as my partner because you want somebody that's gonna go the distance and say, you can do this. And I felt like I could do that for him and he could do that for me. She's going to give me inspiration, and I'm going to push her, and she's going to keep me going. It's back down to me and you, bro. It is. The way it was meant to be on a loser, huh? That's right. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to prove it to myself. Not to everybody else, just to myself. Hi, buddy. How are you? You're almost done. Yeah. Look at you two. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Yeah, yeah hurting, but we're, we're going to finish. It is crazy because that mile, this last mile, almost killed us. The first, first day. day. I mean, it did got off that bus and we ran that first mile, I was hurting so bad and I was out of breath and I felt like a train had run over me. To be able to run a marathon, that would be just like a dream come true. I have it in me. I just got to get the weight off. All I can think about is that first mile and how hard it was and how I felt like I was going to have to get down and crawl across the finish line. I just want to break the chain. I've got to take care of my family. How can I do that like this? It's time to make a change. It's time to turn the ship. You just ran a marathon. Danny, you're fit. You're in shape. 
You're like you used to be. You're back on top of the world. Don't ever let go of yourself. Don't ever put yourself up on the shelf again. You've got to take care of your family. So stay like you are. Keep the weight off. Keep moving. Take care of yourself. Proud of you. I know you could do it, and I knew you were worth it. So I'm very proud of you. And just remember, we cannot go back. This is it. We have our whole future to look forward to, and I'm so excited. What's it been like for you, Liz, having Danny as a teammate? I feel like I got the best partner on the show. <laughs> Love you. All right, congratulations, all of you. You just completed a marathon, the Biggest Loser Marathon, 26.2 miles. And in honor of Second Chances, Biggest Loser Protein by Designer Way has given each of you $10,000 to give to the charity of your choice. Congratulations to all of you, but you foreknow you have one thing left to do this week. This is your final weigh-in before the finale. Good luck. I'll see you guys then. Bye.